Hey people, so someone named Tupac on Reddit was asking for help on a problem he was having with a design idea and I have made this mockup um, to demonstrate well my solution I think to his problem if I have understood his problem correctly basically what he wants to do, he wants to have a ship with engine parts on the side where he can take off and then uh, let them uh, fold down to a horizontal position so he can use them for forward flight. Uh, a beach hole kind of deal. And he wants to use small grid, which is notoriously annoying on uh, well, using rotors and pistons like that. So this is my solution. Basically, we have a piston out from a rotor in here that rotates the entire engine part. Then we have that going up to a piston pointing the other way. Now the reason for that is that this piston isn't exactly two blocks long. We have the little thing on the tip there. So if we were to just use a one piston, then the merge block would be a little bit off the other merge block and you may get some phantom forces sending your ships into the void. Then we have that piston connected to two rotors which is then connected to the actual engine part. This is again to compensate for the aforementioned offset, in this case caused by the rotor in here, so they compensate each other, making this flush with the ship. Uh, oh, another reason I wanted to make this video is because some people are under the misconception that you cannot pressurize that got dark, a small ship, and you definitely can, we just don't have any doors. And this also fixes that. This is a way to make a door, I guess. So, we uh, take off. I pop my programmable block. The engine blocks go out and I lose control of them. That's actually a bit problematic. And, uh, uh, there we go. And they pop back in and here we go. So, we are ready for horizontal flight. And, yeah. Now you can see down in the bottom it says O2 high and temperature warm. We are pressurized in here. It is completely closed off. And we can just uh, switch it back again for a landing. So we pop the button one more time. This could perhaps go a bit faster. And you also saw the air escaping there, depressurization. So yeah, that works just fine. And I'm hoping it fixes this problem. Uh, well, if you hadn't fixed it already, it's like 12 hours old, but I didn't see a lot of comments. So, uh, yeah, that's a close look of it. I'm gonna pop a link to a uh, workshop blueprint of this uh, in the comments below. Uh, as I said, it's a mock-up, it's not really uh, practical, I guess, but if you want it, it's yours. Just keep in mind, it uses pistons and rotors, so you cannot weld this with a projector. Anyhow, that is uh, all. I hope this uh, works for you, 2 boxing. Thank you for watching and see ya.